Well, good evening, travelers. Me and Michelle have ventured over to the Grand Floridian, and we're headed to the newly reopened Citricos. Wait, wait. Well, good evening, travelers. Me and Michelle have traveled over to the Grand Floridian. Wait, 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 wait. Good evening, travelers. Me and Michelle have traveled over to the Grand Floridian, and we are coming over to try the reopened Citricos to see what has changed on the menu. Actually, it's a whole new menu, so we don't even know what we're going to get yet. So come along and join us. Let's see what Citricos has to offer us. Okay, here is where I want to sit next time we come to the room. This is the Mary Poppins inspired room. And it's Mary Poppins Return, by the way, is what the new Citrico is, is themed after. It is absolutely gorgeous in this resort. And look at the umbrella chandeliers up there. Fantastic. There's so many details in here. Look, cherry tree lane right there on the wall. Oh. We're just so bad. And Stephanie, our favorite server, is back. I'm so excited. Of course, an open kitchen concept, which is great. You know I love that. You can see it pretty much from every table. But if you also look at the lights inside, they are also umbrellas. There she is right there. Stephanie, if you ever come here, make sure you ask for that server right there. She is fantastic. Okay guys, these are our table views. I'm telling you, we have been getting some great table views here. Fantastic. And right there is the Grand One, and right around the corner is the Magic Kingdom, and at night, you can see the fireworks from this location. Okay, travelers, so here we are. We are in the new reimagined Citricos, and it is themed after the return of Mary Poppins. And everything in this place is done for a reason, even down to the carpet. It's supposed to, the carpet's actually supposed to represent when Mary's coming down through the clouds, and it's the London sky and the scenes, so it is absolutely gorgeous in here. I know, the menu looks gorgeous. Javier brought the menu over and they have a specialty zero proof cocktails, but it's these five right here, and I think we're gonna get something, but it's supposed to represent the medicine when she gives all the kids the medicine, and each cocktail is a different color. So I think we're gonna peruse these and see what we can find. So travelers, as we have said in the beginning, and we're trying everything. This is the new menu here for Citricos. It is an all new menu, nothing carried over from the old menu, so don't look for the old stuff, it's not gonna be here. But in our quest to eat around Walt Disney World and eat at every location, all 390 plus of them, we got to come here tonight for opening night. They had a couple soft openings, but this is opening night for them. And we closed the wave down the other night. So we've had a great food experience and we love sharing this with you guys. But we're torn on the appetizers. We're really not sure what we're gonna do at this point. 
because they have a Berkshire pork belly that looks good. But the sweet corn bisque might be calling my name. So we're going to see what we come up with. Okay, so we did decide on two specialty zero proof cocktails. Michelle is getting the sparkling grapefruit soda. It is traditionally made grapefruit syrup sweetened with Florida honey and topped with house-made seltzer, and that is $8. I am getting the old-fashioned orange soda float, handcrafted orange syrup, house-made seltzer, and vanilla green ice cream, and that is $9. So travelers, when you do come here, this is like a California grill type pricing, so just remember that. And I will have to say, it is absolutely gorgeous in here. I'll say it again. I'm just great. I'm ecstatic to be back in this space with Michelle. It is one of our favorite restaurants on property, and we are so glad that we came back opening night tonight. Also, to let you know, the menu is very Florida-based menu. A lot of guavas, a lot of fishes, a lot of Florida honey, all kinds of Florida ingredients on this menu. So that's really nice. Locally sourced and harvested, so that's that's a great menu so travelers our mocktails just arrived and this is the old-fashioned orange float right here look at that that looks so good be mad at the straw. no like I can't be mad at it is paper straw that's okay but look at that it is so cute and here is Michelle's sparkling grapefruit soda and it looks like they've got candied grapefruit rinds right there our peel Oh, it smells good too. Mm. So we're going to give these a try. Cheers, honey. Cheers. And by the way, travelers, welcome to our table. That's a strawberry float right now. I mean, an orange float, mm -hmm. not strawberry. I got confused. This is so good. Mmm. Very tasty. Very, very tasty. Javier just brought us some bread. We have um, ciabatta okay. and calamata olives. What? Calamata olive, olive bread. Oh, nice. yes. <laughs> That's his favorite. <laughs> There's our bread with the sea salt. Look at that right there. That looks so scrumptious. But there's a Kalamata olive bread. I cannot wait to try that. And a ciabatta. And a ciabatta. A ciabatta is a ciabatta. And the butter. The butter is a orange sea salt, is what Javier told us. So we cannot wait to try that. But I will have to say on this orange mocktail, as I'm drinking it more and more, that vanilla bean ice cream is really starting to come through. And you can see the specks of the vanilla bean. And that's starting to grow on me. I'd still go with the grapefruit first, but this one isn't a bad mark tell at all. They're like the pink one tuxedo tops from Mary Poppins. That's what exactly they are. So we have decided on our appetizers. And Michelle is getting the Berkshire pork belly. It is bonita and plantain croquette, salsa verde, and jacima. And that is $17. And I am getting Wait, this. Wait, what? What did you say? Jakima? Isn't that Hickama? Oh, Hickama. It's got a J. Okay. She's right. <laughs> and I'm getting the sweet corn bisque with pickled fennel, popcorn, and fennel oil. And that is $14. It's a whole new Envision menu, so my chicken dish didn't make it back to the menu. <laughs> Neither did Michelle's creme brulee. Okay, Javier just set the spoon down in front of me. <laughs> I'll tell you how unrefined I am. I thought it was for the ice cream in my drink, but it's for my corn, <laughs> my corn soup that I got. <laughs> so, thank you, Javier, for setting that down for me. I have my Kalamata olive bread right there. And I don't know, but you can actually see like bits of citrus in there with the sea salt. And I know it's orange sea salt, but the bits of the citrus. So let's give this a try. Mm. I'm gonna say, 
that bread is a nice, it's kind of a tough bread, but it's yet fluffy and so flavorful. Got a great crust on it. But that sea salt, and you can taste that orange come through at the end of that butter. That is a great combination. Okay, so Michelle said I had to try the ciabatta bread right there with my butter on it. So we're going to give this a try. And it's not a really tough, I thought it would be more tough. No, it's it's a soft ciabatta. Yeah, it's a like very the soft. The outside is crispy, like it should be flour coated. The inside yeah. is pillowy, soft. Yes. We're going to give this a try. That is fantastic. We have decided on our entrees. This is going to be a hard one, but Michelle got to choose first. A little bitter. She's getting the guava barbecued short ribs. I'd already seen the menu. That's what I was going to get. But it comes with aged cheddar, creamy grits, roasted poblano, curtudo slaw. That's pretty good. Yeah, Curtudo slaw and Brussels sprouts, and that will be $50. I'm going off the rails. Since she threw me off the rails, I'm getting, and since I loved the lobster at the Wave the other night, and it was butter poached, so we're going to go with the butter poached Florida Cobia. Huh. Mashed fingling potatoes, grilled asparagus, local mushrooms, and a grapefruit beret blanc. And that is $42. I am having a seafood dish tonight, and I'm actually looking very forward to that. So We'll see how that comes out. It was either that or the lot of chicken, but I think the Kobe is going to be very nice oh, tonight. Oh, you know what that is? Because I just looked it up. Oh, no, don't. Just don't. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah, go ahead, tell me. Well, another name up for it, it says it's a black kingfish. Okay. A black salmon. Okay. A lean, a lemon fish. But I caught the black salmon. Okay. So, I don't know what that means. Well, we're going to go with it. We're going to go. It was either that or, I mean, they got two steaks on here. It says it's the here. most delicious premium white fish. There we go. There we go. And it's, and it's butter poached. How can you beat butter poached fish? So, that's what we are going with tonight. Yeah, it's, they call it a blue cobia. Okay. We oh, can it smell really it. Wait. Does it look good? Yeah. Is there a picture of it? Don't show me. Don't ruin my, oh my, gosh. my experience. The appetizers just arrived. And they look quite tasty. My corn soup, sweet corn bisque has popcorn in it, in the fennel right there. But Michelle's pork belly is a little different than the pork bellies we're used to. So it's going to be interesting to see her try that and see just how good it is. I'm going to do my soup first. Because I have to get like subtle or Okay. Nice and creamy. Looks good so far. Let me get a little piece of that. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Some of that popcorn on there. There we go. We're going to give this Thank a try. You. <laughs> okay. Do I get to try it? No? Yes. You, okay, I'm going to let her try this. I'm just going to hold the bowl so she won't take it from me. Right there. Is a fantastic delicious. corn bisque. Oh my god, that is so good. This is her pork belly. But that's it right there. Check that out. And she's gonna give this a try. I'm gonna make her try it first. Michelle's over there getting her pork belly. Trying to get you a piece. Oh, uh, she's gonna let me have a bite. First okay, bite. here we go. Totally different than any other pork bellies you've had. It's not the maple lacquered pork belly from the wave. It's got a nice chew to it. Not tough, but a nice chew. But the sauce that is underneath that pork belly. And then it's a sweet potato and plantain croquette with jicama shavings on top. 
the thing about coming to an opening of a restaurant, which we, you know, this is a first time, it's Citrico's, one of our favorites. We have never experienced any of these flavors put together the way they put them together tonight. Well, it's new. And it's a new menu. You know, I'm used Although to the I airline swear chicken. The bread is not new, but yeah, we're we're debating yeah. on the. I think um, they had the uh, Kalamata bread before. I think it might be. <laughs> that'd be the weirdest thing to bring over is the Kalamata olive bread. But Michelle, I think she said she could eat a loaf of that right now with that butter. The ciabatta bread. Yeah, all the ciabatta. But the butter is so nice and spreadable. But this pork belly just continues to grow on you as you eat it. I like especially the, the pickled fennel with the corn. The pickled fennel in the corn soup. It just it's nice flavors. It's good. Yeah. They thought about this menu before they put it out. I, I, it just wasn't thrown together. They worked on this menu a while. And it's fantastic so far. So Keith, one of the managers, did just come by the table. We had a discussion with him. It's just nice to see everybody back. And I did tell him, so far, I'm sorry, but this could probably rival California Grill. It'll be on the entrees and the dessert, but from what we're seeing coming to the tables and the atmosphere, the only thing, my probably my one little complaint, is that it is a little noisy. There used to be carpets that hung on the wind, and not carpets. <laughs> there used to be drapes that hung on the windows, so it kind of muffled the sounds a little bit. So the sounds do carry in here. But to give you the views that you get now, I can see why they got rid of them. And it looks like our entrees have arrived. Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank looks you. wonderful. Thank you so much. Now, is this the same sauce that was on the short ribs? Um, it might I'm be. Yes. It might be. And our app, our main course has just arrived, and they look fantastic. I am not going to hold them up to the camera because I don't want them to slide off the plates. But I'm going to let Michelle get some great photos of them. But this cobia, like I said, I've never really had the cobia or any types of fish. So this is going to be interesting with the fingerling potatoes. So here we go, travelers. These dishes look totally different than anything we're used to eating. I'm not, I'm not going to fib with everything. Rosa for blanco. Rosa, okay. Okay. Rosa sprouts. And this is curtido. Curtido is very popular in El Salvador. They say it's, it's kind of like a slug. It's like a like a cabbage is slug. Okay. This is cabbage and carrots. Okay. okay. Got you. All right. It's delicious. Let's see what happens. Javier. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Javier came and gave us a tutorial of our dishes, which was fantastic. So we're going to give these a try, guys. Again, I try with the... Michelle is cutting into that short rib, and it's just like falling apart. It's got a guava barbecue sauce. With a pabano something. With this poblano gravy on the bottom. So she's gonna give me a try of this. Let's give this a try. The guava barbecue sauce is really good. That poblano cream on the bottom has just enough heat that you can taste it on the front of your tongue. But it's a very nice dish. Very nice dish. There is a little heat in there. There is a little heat in there. Very nice. That's good. That's very good. And she also got Brussels sprouts with that. And I'm going to get my piece right here. Like I said, not a big seafood eater, so we're going to see here. Here we go. Mm. Okay. The fish is very flavorful, light, flaky, not a seafood taste at all. But then that grapefruit reduction kicks in with a little bit is of tartness. Is that what that is? Like the same that was that in the is drink? a grapefruit reduction. All right, so, it's it's good. I'm just not a fish eater. Um, oh, I did get fingerling potatoes. There are smashed fingerling potatoes with little mushrooms on there. So let's give this a try. 
and is it good? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Earthy? Wild for me, yeah. Very earthy. Very wild because there's leeks in there and the mushrooms and the fingerling potatoes. But that's the best thing about our experiences is that her dish is giving her a whole different experience than mine is tonight. So that's why we do these guys. Oh, so wait, we can I didn't give you any of the. Um, what is that stuff? We're finding more stuff on our plates. I think. Oh, I'm, the cheddar grits. Oh, the cheddar grits. She's, what she are was you saving doing? those. What was I think I got a hair on my glasses. <laughs> it's cheddar grits. Okay, cheddar grits. Here we go. No, they're not cheddar grits? <laughs> no, they are, but they're like a stone ground cheddar grits. Uh -oh. They're very grainy grit, not a really oh, fine yeah. grit. They're very grainy grit. Aren't they? Yeah. I've never had a grit that big. I know. It's I almost like um, uncooked polenta, like not cooked all the way polenta, but it's a grit. But it's a grit. They're good, but they're just coarse. Yeah, they're coarse very coarse grits. I've never so, had those before. Yeah. New flavors? I didn't know they had them like that. I didn't either, but I enjoyed them. So I really don't know how fish is supposed to be cooked because I don't eat fish a lot. I might have to say this might be a little overcooked. Michelle kind of agrees with me, but the flavor in it is still fantastic. So now we're going to look at the dessert menu that Javier just brought right here. And I know what we're getting. I don't even have to ask Michelle because we're sharing it. Yeah, and I am crying. I gave up hope. I thought maybe they might somewhere back in the kitchen find my my creme brulee. No creme brulee, but they have an orange blossom flan, which we are going to give a try. But it's blood orange jelly, orange scented shortbread, orange blossom honey drizzled fruit, and that is $12 tonight. So, like I said, this is a very, very Floridian based menu now. So we did go to Magic Kingdom today, yeah. on that note. Yeah. Everybody, we, please don't go to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> we it stayed was all hot. an hour. Yeah. We were even there an hour. We walked in. We walked in, we rode the people, people mover, mover. <laughs> and we walked out. Yeah, that was it. That's all we did. But it was hot. I don't see how those folks are doing it. And if you're coming down, I applaud you for coming I here do. and supporting Disney and having a vacation. Okay, that looks cute. Our dessert right, just came. Cute. Javier just set it down. That looks like a so tortilla. we're going to give it a try. <laughs> With caramelized sugar. That's a, that's a blueberry. Nice. Look at that. That's the flan right there. It's on a shortbread cookie, but that is an orange flan right there. So we're going to give this a try. <laughs> Michelle's already bitter at this dessert. And she ain't even tried it yet. So we're going to give it a try now. Ah, it's like she's taking medicine. Okay. I enjoy the flan part. I do not need that shortbread cooking. You could lose the shortbread cooking, I'd be happy. Go ahead. The shortbread cookie doesn't taste done enough for me. It's a very raw kind of dough. The orange jelly is bitter, almost grapefruity. The flan has no taste. The honey that's actually on the fruit is pretty good. I wish the honey was over the whole rest of the dessert. Other than that, it's not her cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. As Mary Poppins would say. But on the other hand, I enjoy the base, the flan base. I don't need the cookie. I don't need the orange jelly in there. But I enjoy the flan part. So once again, folks, we agree to disagree on this dessert. So we're going to sit. I'm going to sit here and finish the dessert because, you know, I ain't wasting this dessert. Everything was great tonight, great location, great company, great service. It was just wonderful being back in Central Coast. And like we always say, travelers, until next time, Travel and Adventure is out there.
Yep, not yet open. Hopefully soon. You never know. We might get the word. Victoria and Alvin's right there, guys. Right beside Citricos.